What's going on guys? It's Zex. And we're here today with the first episode of a brand new series I like to call The Deck Rotation. Yeah, I'm not really great with naming things. This is pretty much a updated version of the Week of Fires collection I did last year for Vanguard Zero in which I took an entire week and just made a bunch of content off of it. Basically just a giant glorified deck and fight week. <laughs> This time, however, it will attempt to be weekly, and it will just—it will not just be on Zero, and not just be on Vanguard. It could be on any card game I want to play, and depending on certain conditions, there will also be a certain theme for each month. Again, not all the time. Now, before we begin, a few housekeeping things. Firstly, the deck list is not intended to be the end-all, be-all of a deck. This is just what I thought would work based on my quick deck building and playtesting. At the end of the day, like what is meant to be with researching and net decking, it is a baseline for a deck, and a final version should be based on your preferences after playing with the deck for a while. It is your decision with how the deck goes in the end. I'm just here to give you the start. Secondly, I would really like feedback on this series. For example, what would you think of the thumbnails? Would you, prefer having, would you prefer having the deck breakdown be before or after the gameplay? Things like that. And lastly, thank you so much for helping the channel reach 100 plus subscribers. I know what I'm really doing is just like taping things together and seeing what sticks, but I do appreciate the support. And as such, I finally decided to reopen my Discord. I'll be honest, one of the reasons I stopped posting Link was because I didn't feel right having one open without establishing myself first. So I made the goal that once I reach 100 subscribers, I will try again and open it. So here it is, the link's out of the description. Now let's actually get into the deck. This is Archite. Archite is a researcher from the Bianca Lavatory, a research station in Brent Gate. The very same research station where Ava is from. Whereas Ava specialized in researching knowledge and the fiber gallus, Archite, however, specialized in researching something way cooler Kaijus. The deck's game plan is to find monsters to research in order to create her own monsters to fight. Now, let's go over the cards in this deck. The right line is, and it's no joke, the exact same as Ava's red line. The grade 1 when writing a grade 0 gets a free search for a research, and the same for the grade 2 when it writes a grade 1. The grade 3 monster creator archite has two abilities. The first takes a monster in your order zone and bot decks it with a copy of that monster into the board to give that unit tanky power. The second skill is on attack for combat 1 and has two parts. Part 1 sends a monster on your board to the order zone so long as you have 3 research orders active, and part 2 lets you look at the top 7 to search for a monster unit and call it. She is a very solid main vanguard, and enables as it enables multi attack and gives units power without having to rely on persona ride. Being a research deck, their course has to be a research order, and next primary order is torrent energy research. When it's placed, you reveal a top 5. Then choose two monsters and put one to your hand and put any other into the drop. Then each turn you can rest the order to take a monster from the drop and put it to your zone. This order is fantastic for early game deck bidding and searching as it can grab anything that has monster in name such as your perfect guard and persona ride. Resting the order allows you to recycle all your dead monsters to be useful for effects like Arcade's power up skill which I forgot to mention is in once per turn. On to the other cards. Reboros is a 13k grade 1 that, when placed, allows you to Soul Blast 2 to draw a card. Now, while this card also works in Ava, it's Archite who can use the card more effectively as the Soul Blast 2 is easier to pay here without causing problems, in addition, in addition to being searchable. Katera is on place spot removal, using this under the assumption that you have 3 orders online, and is an 18k beater by itself. A card that's interesting here is actually. Ar Arvin Robust. Robust's job is to search out the last torn energy to reach the 3 count, but the card is also a 23k, 23k attacker on its own, making really good numbers. 
Recycle Guard recycles monsters and is a 10k grade 2, which is always was a 10k shield grade 2, which is always nice. I'm also running two of experiments successful. It's here because the cards are formed hard removal as there aren't too many cards in standard that deal with the bind zone. Also, it increases the research order count to 6, improving consistency. It also allows it to be searched for up robust. For the deck ratios, the ratios are 4 grade 3 archite, 2 4 Gorgatera, 2 Robust, 4 Cycle Guard, 3 Bomba Mine. Now 4 4 is probably more optimal, however, I haven't really found issues with counter blasts in this deck, and the space is very tight, so I have to make cutlers do. 4 of the for the trial deck perfect guards because the order allows them to be searchable, and Rebiros, which is at 4. Uh, the orders are 2 experiments successful and 4 torn energy research. The trigger lineup here is 8 crit, 3 draws, the Brant gate over trigger because it's busted, and 4 vanilla heals. Once again to note, the trigger lineup as well as any ratio depends on you and how you want to play it. Alright, so we were the first game and we are going against B Heroes. Now, B Heroes are actually kind of underrated, especially with the brand new card right here, uh, Bold Seraph, which is basically their uh, in archetype for Bind Rusher. Now, we go into the actual fight. Uh, we open up to the, the Over Trigger, which isn't that great, <laughs> obviously. And then we hit it. We actually grab the, the Grade 3, which is great. And we dump Cycle Guard, which you know makes sense. And then we add Cycle Guard into the into the monster zone, and we're good. Not the monster zone, you know what I mean. So they do the be here is doing their stuff, and they hit a draw. We hit a heal. That's going to bite us in the bed. I already know it. So we search for the third. We actually add the the experiment successful. Because we already have three of them, I don't think we really need that fourth one just yet. So we add the grade three. We put we put uh, both mine into the drop. Then we're going to stack the both mine in there. And we attack. Hit a draw ourselves. And hit both zero. They actually discard our robust, which I was not expecting them to actually run, but it does make sense for a deck that needs three of their cards to actually make their main boss unit work. So they swing and we guard it. They hit a crit, which actually was a great idea. So with this we discard our grade three into the monster hunter. <laughs> the monster creator, excuse me. We add cycle guard and discard Gokotera. Then we will add Gokotera's I believe yeah we go to Gokotera and both mine into the into the order zone. Then call Gokutera and then send one Gokutera back to actually gain 10k power. And then call Waybros to draw. Uh, we draw another heal. So that is what two heals already out combined with the over trigger. So that means we only have two ways of recovering later, which is not going to help us in late game. So let game will attack, they guard. Archite, bounce it into Gokutera, then Gokutera will gain another 10k power, which now they go for 2 pass, cliff, it's 28, and into a 41, they hit both, that's our turn. And now they are on Unite Dinos. And they will begin to scout. And they show our robust, grab the third one for next turn. Making uh making late turns actually kinda nasty, so that's gonna be neat. I will say like if B heroes actually get a grade one base, this deck actually probably goes really nasty. Just straight up. So we tap for 23. And I take it, get defensive. Probably should actually put this a little bit faster, but you know, we're here, so we can go. So 
I've been wrecking this match took a while, so they actually attack with the uh, rear guard. And they hit the over trigger, which means a lot of cards are about to start to switch out. Switch out both Seraph, 40k2 crit. I actually take this one, and then I will PG this one. Draw, I have Persona Ride, Ride, hit Kokotera again, and I call Riveros to draw, get Armin Robust, which, you know, actually is pretty okay because it's a 23k by itself, and the thing can do so. So I call, so I call Robust, and pretty much set up for. Yep, begin starting to search up for our right to use your skill. Go to battle, attack with Gokutera. Gokutera, he hits a draw, which is unfortunate. So, turn off the top, and we get Psycho Guard, which is. Psycho Guard is plus 10k. Two to pass again. Hit a draw trigger, draw Weberos. Then swing for a lot. They guard it. Started with two heals, the entire thing so they take it and that's it. Then they now they persona right, which makes things a lot more dangerous. Check out the top, more scouts, which means now my diagnosis has this crit and things get harder to guard. I do not guard by getting defensive, which helps a lot. So if my guy knows this is 38 crit, I guard the over trigger because they already lost theirs. They have to take direct burial, switch out for dual serum. So that is 38. And which this was like a really hard one to actually guard. And guard uh, do guard it because second guard gets 5k shield, which is brain parent, and then I will just barely guard it. Draw, Persona Ride into a Bulb Mine. I call Katera to pop both. Yeah, I'm tired of both Zera, and then I will. This is one of the things with the game. Again, and then I actually get Archite instead, which, you know, one of the few situations where getting Archite is actually a cool thing for attacker. I also got the Overbros is plus 5k. I had to heal. I give it all the Vanguard because at this point I need to break through because the shields go crazy. 36. And now, here comes the kind of tanky nature beat heroes, which is guard from the order zone. So with that, they still have five cards in hand, meaning that effectively they can do it and they do it. And I'm pretty sure they persona ride again, which at this end they have the bomb piece, meaning that there is anything just as easy.
say early in the match that not having a heal was going to be an issue, and it was. Alright, and we're up against Gate 2 again. I originally recorded the whole thing, only to realize that uh, OBS has stopped recording. So we're back on Gate 2 once again, going against the Bastion. Bastion has some pretty nice tools going to set 9. It's time for my final thoughts. Looking at Archive with only one wave, I think it's clear that Bushy took a good look at the issues that played Eva on her first wave, 
and actually learn from them. Archive being able to search for a wider card pool means that the potential ceiling can always go up based on the quality of future monsters released. Torrent Energy is an excellent first order that sets up your press turns effectively and searches key pieces, not to mention Persona Rides and Perfect Guards. Ironically, the biggest issue with Archive is actually the monsters. While they do have their uses, none of them are as really flashy or that impactful to close games out. Your monster's biggest payoff being 5k isn't really that effective. I mean, ironically, I, I guess the biggest comparison in Archive is funny enough Eva. While Eva didn't have the best start in terms of first wave, Offscade having its 10k power and critical being a big payoff or pushing for game and later down lines allow for various amounts of pressure and just a lot of ways it made it easier to close out game basically. So until Ava um, until Archite, excuse me, until Archite could actually gain that, it's a pretty nice rogue deck. And pretty much the best way to play research for cheap. That's that's it for the episode. I hope you enjoyed it. If you would like more content, please share, like, comment, subscribe. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.